Okay, this is Kay here with Frontier for MathCast, and then we're conducting an interview outside the London rooms. You just come off the end of your tour. How's that been? It's been absolutely insane, and we've got one more show to go, and it's going to be absolutely incredible. I can't wait. It's going to be good fun. So the first question is the most important. It's uh, how many wh- whammy pedals do you own? Uh, I can't remember how many we have in that photo. Was it like 10 or something? 10, 12? I can't actually remember the number. I just remember assembling the photo. How, how many do you chain up when you're recording? or is it? So I only ever really use... Oh, I've started using the Ricochet um, instead of the Lamy for some parts, but I only really ever have one connected at one time on the, uh, like the recording side. When I play live, the pedal board has one regular whammy and then the ricochet so I could do two different things with it. Okay, so um, what's the process when you're writing and composing a Frontier tune? Are you just coming up with riffs, recording and then putting drums to that? So with Frontier I do all the writing, recording, mixing um, the guys learn it and Chad writes and records all his vocals and sends them to me. The process, it Honestly, it starts off with just the one riff. Whatever I have in my moment of time, I'll record that riff, I'll maybe repeat it a few times, I'll record another riff. Sometimes I don't look at what I've previously written. If I start off a song a certain way, I might write something completely different, jam them together and see if it transitions well. If it doesn't, I'll then write the transition. It's very much a jigsaw puzzle. It's kind of approach to, to the writing Just sometimes. It's make not, it more frantic. It's, the... it's not always chronological, that thing. And I mean, if, if some of the songs have don't progress in a certain way I'll cut up bits and replace them into other songs and yeah I mean I not try not to do that too much try to write a full song in one go when I can and I've been doing that as time's gone on more but sometimes it's actually quite fun to come up with stuff not really considering what's come before what come after, so. so no random number generators in there <laughs> nah no, none of those bad boys <laughs> um how do you think the music industry has been changing recently? Is it a good time to be rising up? Because you've blown up recently over the last few years. I don't think there's ever a bad time. It's probably quite a really good time um, to have your own control and get support from fans because tools like Bandcamp and stuff exist. Um, I think it's, you know, Bandcamp, Bandcamp has kind of, maybe not, re- not replaced labels, there's a lot of safe services that labels still exist and provide and function. And, give bands um, that digital platforms might not but if you do all that hard work in the background yourself that the label is doing you can achieve basically the same end goal depending on what your final goal is I think Bandcamp is, for us it's been a huge tool so. So, You've had loads of success this year with Frontier and the Section album and do yep. you find it challenging to write distinct material for the two bands? Do you ever have one riff that you don't know? No, it's, it's really separate in my mind and it's really separate when it comes to the recording. I think people who heard Section without hearing Unloved, um, hearing Annihilated without hearing Unloved, were like, oh, it just sounds like the same band, but then they heard Unloved and then they were like, oh no, it sounds completely different. Or at least the feedback that I saw people is that, you know, Section does sound like a completely different band. Um, and the way I tried to approach it was the same way that you have, you know, common producer linked to two separate projects where you have like a certain benchmark standard for a sound but you have completely different musical themes and contexts and oh. uh, what was it working with the guys from Carbon and Employed to Serve and how did those kind of collaborations come about? We, we started off with a list of people we wanted to collaborate with, reached out to them some uh, it didn't work out others um, it obviously it did, uh, we approached Mike about it before we played at Euroblast with uh, Carbon and he was really keen. Eventually, we managed to get him to record some parts, but we didn't really have any set ideas. We gave him the song, and we gave him lyrics and stuff and uh, ideas, and just said, "Kind of do your own thing if you want." So he did, but he's a very busy guy. So we kind of we kind of poked the needle in a bit, and uh, eventually he managed to come up with the goods, and we were really appreciative of of him contributing to it. Greg's parts just came as a side effect because I think he helped Mike record his vocals. Um, and then after that, he just sort of decided he would he'd put some guitar parts in, so I just chopped them up and added them. Where were they on? Well. Was that Heartless 101? Yeah, yeah he, did, he did a few little overdubs and stuff, so included those in as well. The Employee to Serve um, folk, we just uh, we'd asked them about that. I think probably around the same time, to be honest. And they were keen, and they got their stuff done uh, a bit earlier than Car Bombs. So 
Yeah. I was chatting with Sammy earlier and said um, the stuff that he's on is unreleased at the moment. Yeah, it is, yeah. So there is an unreleased bonus track that we have, uh, which will come out at some point. Um, probably with a vinyl variant, but we'll just wait and see. We're playing it tonight, cool. though. No, that'll be good. Um, are the, is the list of artists still quite large that you'd like to work with? Are you looking oh, more yeah, for yeah. the future? Of course. Uh, if, if Chino and Trent Reznor are out there. <laughs> <coughs> Some good picks there. Listening, that would be awesome. Yeah, no, we, we work with lots of people. I try, like, try to kind of limit collaborations a bit, though, because I feel like it can take a... Unless the, the goal of the project is to be really collaborative, it can kind of... Attract a bit from you don't want that. every track saying feet. Yeah, right? yeah. It's not. It's not a. It's not a. You know, a hip hop album. <laughs> um, but yeah. What was the first metal album you fell in love with? And well, start uh, probably that. probably like uh, um, Hybrid Theory, Linkin Park, or uh, classic I, or like Iowa Slipknot, um, or maybe even Volume Three Slipknot. To be honest, around that thing. So yeah, probably. can't go wrong with those. Nope. Yeah. <coughs> Any current favourites from the last year or so? Yeah, the arms only love is a fucking brilliant record. It's not what I what I want from them though, and that's part of the reason why I created sectioned. Um, <laughs> that's what you want the arm to be. <laughs> or I, I never I never created sectioned, but like sectioned existed, and we discovered the arm later. The music that I wrote for sectioned on Annihilated was what I wanted to hear from an armed record. Basically, <laughs> forty minutes off the track, sterling results. Um, Didn't you have the vocalist from the Armed uh, featuring yeah, on? That? Yeah, Tony. Tony did a little bit in Portrait as well. Um, so that that record is just yeah, it's, it's basically what I wanted from that from the Armed at that time. But the Armed are a very diverse band. They're very talented. Um, they are they are a benchmark for any independent artist. They've achieved so much. They've achieved a lot more than I have. And uh, yeah, very very oh, um, yeah. <laughs> no, they, they they are man. Like they they they, they work really hard, um, and they, they do a really good job. I think more people need to know about them. I think it's insane that people don't um, still. Are there any um, non-metal inspirations going into your um, projects that people wouldn't associate with the music? I mean, there's the drum and bass elements in. Oh there. yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, the, all the the Apex Twin type stuff, and you know, um, I've, I've always talked about doing the. Uh, like sort of Chicago footwork stuff like Rochelle have you got any spin. ideas for a project that would be just drum and bass or do you just like having it as a yeah I thought about I thought about doing that myself to be honest I have thought about it I've just not had the, the, the time to fully commit to it yet so. are you been a busy boy yeah busy, busy, busy. what's the uh, strangest way you've heard the music described <laughs> online I mean I've seen some interesting I kind of like I kind of roll my eyes at some of them because I'm just like I don't know. It, it it wears off after a while. Like it's it's amazing that people like think it's that bomb. Care enough to like. Yeah, yeah. To to describe it in such terms, but like again, it's like with being desensitized with the music, you get kind of desensitized to descriptions and reviews and things like that. So I don't really have a favorite one to be honest. Um, are there any family <laughs> members that are into your music? How how's it gone down with showing I friends really, and? You well, know, family and stuff. I don't know. Like my girlfriend is very very supportive of what we do. I don't think she listens to us, but she's very supportive of what we do. And um, yeah, that's like couldn't be more than to have the support to do it, especially with the touring stuff and being away and and whatnot. Especially when I get limited holidays. Um, but the family. Um, they know that I'm doing stuff. My mom's very supportive. My dad is supportive as well. Um, but they're not like you know. They don't. I wouldn't want them to come to a gig. I wouldn't force anybody to come to a gig that wasn't into something. So. Yeah. And uh, what's next for Frontier? Do you think you've got album three in the works? Done. Done. Album three's done. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We finished. That. I finished that when I finished the second album. So basically, we're two in parallel. Um, I think next year the aim is to come out to the states. <coughs> we're working on a few things to make it happen, but. It just depends on the offers. Are you keeping the three-year cycle for album um, three? Uh, no idea, to be honest, at this mm. stage. We're just having it there, sitting on it, making it what it is and making it as good as it can be. What about section two? How's that coming? I'll start that probably towards the end of this year as well. So okay. just Well, if you're I done can. with three, or have you moved on to four for Frontier already? I have no idea. Just to kind of see <laughs> where the, the creative output is. I, I don't mind giving myself a little break. The, the idea that I thought I, could, I was in... Sort of a creative flow. I thought I'll do Unloved, and then I'll just carry on because I thought I just felt like natural. You know, at the time I was like, I'm just gonna carry on, keep writing. But it was a completely different, um, you know, production setup. It sounds totally different production-wise. It's a lot cleaner. Um, it still sounds like the same band, but it, I think probably 
if you were coming from a, like a, if you're coming from a purely like a mixed technical aspect, you probably you probably think, oh, this sounds a lot like clearer, a lot like you know, it's different. Mm. So um, without giving too much away, but I've already given a lot away there. So <laughs> that's, that's probably see. enough. But um, yeah. thanks for talking. Yeah, that's thank you very much for your time and. Uh, Hi Christian, if you're listening to this. Oh, he will be. He's running the podcast. And, and yeah, yeah, and, and and everybody else that's listening to us. And you got any wrecks for the math cast? What's what's the, from the King Ped? What are we getting? Uh, the, Armed, uh, obviously. Oh, uh, or any recommendations? Um, yeah, the RMC Space Cowboy. Uh, I'm trying to think of any bands that you probably wouldn't have heard because they wouldn't be posted on um, Mathcore Index. But I can't, I can't think of any. Check and play to serve out. They're from. Uh, they're from the UK and they're obviously featuring on one of our tracks they're a great band and they work really hard but I can't think of anything else at the moment to be honest so thanks for your time that was yeah, great thank you very nice. much